are searching for knowledge. What a discovery. Not from the world. And then you're pregnant. And then you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. That is real science. Yes? If I run this STAS2 analysis, I only get a weak correlation. Barely significant. But if I take the data through the CU3, I get this result. Well, the, the CU3 is what you need, right? Otherwise, you've got nothing. No. Use the CU3 analysis. But. There are 28 tests to process these data, and for sure they will all give you useful results. So... So, you choose the CU3 and forget about the rest. If, if you base your conclusions on all the data sets and all the resulting analysis, you will never get anywhere. You know your final outcome is correct. Yes. This is the scientific method. You don't need to show the results you don't need. Otherwise, we'll still be here in 10 years' time. Your age index should be over 20 before the time your hair starts turning gray, and with this rate, you won't even finish your first publication. How do you think you'll graduate, then? You need to pick up the pace and finish your paper. I need your brain for my research on protein diffusion. That's why you're here, okay? Polish your data. Everybody does it. And everybody knows that everybody does it. But don't tell anyone. Shh. Wow. Really good. Can I just say one thing? Yes. You should make a reservation. If you say here, Despite accumulating correlative evidence supporting a neuroprotective role of ERP57, the contribution of this foldase to the physiology of the nervous system remains unknown, then you're fine. But that's the only thing. This is really good. Masterpiece, seriously. <laughs> what? Okay, well, Ponto says I have to ignore the outcome of certain tests. But that means I'm ignoring the majority of my test results. I can't do that. Yes, you can. He's right. That's how we've always done it. Nobody's forcing you to analyze your data using 28 different routines. You simply use the four methods that give the correct result. We used to call it a Ponto polish. Are you serious? Of course. What happened between you two? Well... Was it your idea? Yes. But Listen, he was the group leader. He built that group. He was in charge and I, and I'm not bragging here, I had the inside. And now? What about now? Do you want? That prize should be awarded to both of us. Yeah, but that's a bit late after seven years. You think so? <laughs> <laughs>